and we're live all right well my name is katie i am here with shapa and i am so lucky to get to interview amanda um thank you so much for doing this for us i think we can say as much as we want about shapa but really it's all about what the, our members say and what our users actually think about the process so anyway diving right in So um, I think the answer to that is a lot longer than it could be for some, but um, I started working at the hospital that I work at, Sage West, in February, and I was introduced to the program Vitality through Sage West and then introduced to Shapa through Vitality. And I was really looking at, like, looking for a way, honestly, to save money for my family through the Vitality program, and part of that and was including Shapa in a, my journey and seeing what Shapa could do to change my life. Um, and so what I did is I signed up for Shapa and it was an optional thing to sign up for. And I really did not expect my life to change by signing up for Shapa. I expected like, okay, I guess I'm going to step on a scale every day, not going to love it, but I don't have to look at a number and that'll just be what it is. I'm going to step on the scale and move on every day. And I started loving stepping on the scale because it's numberless and it doesn't tell me those um, daily fluctuations and I get the 10 day average instead of having to deal with, oh my gosh, I gained half a pound today. It just says, hey, you're doing a good job. Um, and the color just started motivating me. I was like, wait a second, I'm green and I want to lose weight so I could turn teal. I need to figure out how to get there. And then I'd find myself kind of going back in the green area and going, okay, what do I need to do to change this? And then the first time I ever hit blue, I was like, oh my gosh, this is something that can actually change my life. And so I started really paying attention to the 10 day averages. I started really paying attention to my color. I started checking in and seeing what I could do to get myself into better health and um, Shapa has really helped me be able to kind of move in that direction of better health and um, I lost it. <laughs> no, that's amazing. So did you, would you say you weigh on a normal scale a lot before or did you have any like problems with the normal scale? Before no, I absolutely did not even have another scale in my house. Uh, I was very uncomfortable with the weight that I weighed. However, I was not open to saying that. It was not a topic that I was interested in ever talking about. Um, but since starting with Shapa, like, it's exciting to me to be like, hey guys, guess what? You know, I weigh in every single day and I'm on social media, on the Shapa uh, community Facebook page, like encouraging others, hey, it's okay, you can do this, you can step on it every day. Um, so yeah, my relationship with a scale was zero. <laughs> I literally hated it. And now I love it. It's the first thing I do every morning. That's amazing. <laughs> Yeah, I think that's a huge part of it is I wonder like how often were you doing it before and then now Shapa, it sounds like it's become a habit for you. Yeah, absolutely. And I've only been a Shapa member for a short time. So I joined um, the end of April, but I think I received my scale like right around May 1st and then started weighing in then um, at, at that point end of April, beginning of May is when I decided that it was time to actually make some changes in life and actually use the shape of scale for what it's made for instead of just getting points on my program. And so it's only been since May 1st to present and through Shapa and with the encouragement and motivation that I get from Shapa and from the Facebook online community, I've lost 68 pounds. Oh my gosh. Okay, so what would you say your shape of streak is? Or where are you where are you at with your shape of streak? And for those I who don't know, that's 173 days today, I'm pretty sure. Wow. And that's great. I've never missed a weigh in. That's crazy. You've had 173 days of stepping on your shape in a row. Yes. Wow. <laughs> Congrats. That is huge. Thank you. <laughs> I, I honestly think the greatest benefit is that I, I get motivation from it because I'm 
I'm not seeing those daily fluctuations. And I know I touched on that a little bit, but it's so discouraging to see, oh my gosh, I gained half a pound. And with those 10 day averages and the color system that Shafa has, you don't have to see that. And you don't have to lose your motivation because you saw that. You get to actually just continue moving forward and making progress. That's, yeah, I'm glad you said that. So for example, if you saw green or maybe even went into light gray day, I don't know if you have, but like, what did that do for you? And how did that help with the habits you changed or how did you take a step back and, and help you get back to green to teal? Yeah, so I'm, I feel like I'm still learning definitely, but um, I feel like I've also been really blessed. Um, so when I started, I was green and I was green for well, probably a whole first month. And I was like, why am I green? Like I'm eating healthy. I'm working out. And I think it was just my body chemistry changing and my body getting ready. And I mean, I hadn't, I had been very heavy for a long time with a sedentary life. And so I was making so many changes that took a little bit for my body to adjust. And so seeing that first teal really made me go, oh my gosh, like this is actually something's happening. Um, and then I went to blue pretty quickly after I went to teal and that was really exciting. And then in July, I went back to green and I was like, oh my gosh, this is horrible. I don't want to be green. And then I made myself change my mindset, you know, through the motivation that this, the system gives you and through the shape of community motivation. And I said, okay, it's time to make some sort of change. There's something I'm doing that I could change. And so I started looking into changing my eating habits and changing my workout routines and quickly found myself getting back into that teal and back into the blue. And this last most recent time that I found myself um, kind of plateaued, as I would call it, I was plateaued for about nine days and I was teal the whole time. And I was like, okay, so this scale is recognizing that there's different changes happening, not just weight loss. So, cause I didn't end up green, even though I didn't lose weight for nine days, I was still teal and I lost a whole notch on my belt loop. So I know that it was great to be able to see that Shapa is calculating so many different things and you're not necessarily plateaued just because you're not losing weight and the scale helps you see that through keeping you at teal and and you see those body changes i think i regularly have people ask me so what are you what are you doing to lose weight are you just walking and i'm like not exactly <laughs> but i'd be happy to share my story with you of what i am doing <laughs> That's so. so awesome. So, I mean, I, well, now I am kind of curious. On top of Shapa, do you feel like you added in habits, like, more and more? Like, you started with a small one, and then you added another one, and then kind of as you saw your color, it encouraged you, okay, that is working. Now I'm going to try another thing. Absolutely. So, honestly, when I started in May, I um, was the probably the heaviest I've ever been in my life. And I was very sedentary. I work a desk job. I sat at my desk for eight hours a day. Uh, there was nothing that motivated me to get up and walk. I was probably, I have a Fitbit. I use the Fitbit. I was probably averaging like 5,000 or less steps a day. Um, and I was in pain. I had horrible back pain. I couldn't walk down the hallway at work without having to crunch over at the end of the hallway because it hurt so bad. Um, so getting into the programs and realizing that I had the tools I needed to actually make some life changes now, I also made the change of going to a chiropractor and physical therapist and getting the help I needed with my back so that I can exercise. One of my proudest moments was just a couple of weeks ago. My daughter wasn't feeling very good. We were out on a walk and she's three. I popped her up on my shoulders and continued the mile and a half walk with no pain. And it was not a problem. That's what I'm talking about. Non-scale <laughs> victories. That's huge. Yeah, absolutely. You know, like this shape up really has taught me that like being healthy is so many things than just stepping on the scale, but there's this huge community behind you. If you use this product correctly, that you, you use this product, you have the whole community in everybody's talking about the changes that they're making too. And it gives you ideas and your support and I mean, I do, I do hit workouts now, never even knew what they were in May. Um, and now it's a every other day thing for me. I do 30 minute hit workouts. I 
eat healthy, basically a keto lifestyle, but I modified it a little bit to fit more, more of my needs. And I do a little bit of intermittent, intermittent fasting. Um, just modified that to fit my needs and my daily lifestyle as well. So, and I think that Shapa helps me realize that I can modify things. It doesn't have to be one way or, and that's the only way it's going to work. I can actually modify it and make it be what my lifestyle needs to be. That's so awesome. I mean, I love that you said um, your needs because everyone is so different. And I think that's why Shapa is great for everyone in the sense that it's like, we're not telling you the exact diet. We're not exact, like, it's not an exact workout program, but you're going to figure out these behavior changes that work for you because this is for the goal is the long time, not like a 30 day fix or anything like that. I have a lot of friends who have said like, okay, so what diet medicine are you taking? What, what supplements are you taking? What drinks are you drinking? And I'm like, I don't do any of that. <laughs> like, I don't have a protein drink before I work out. I don't, I eat all three meals every day. I, I just picked a healthier lifestyle that fit me versus, you know, all the crazy diet fads that you don't really have to have. <laughs> No, oh, and I mean, I love how you started with like, okay, I eventually exercise, nutrition, but you got to see a chiropractor, which someone would be like, that's not mm-hmm. exercise or nutrition, but it ended up being the biggest starting point for you and changing your health. Yeah, absolutely changed my health. And, um, and like I said, I wasn't motivated to do that until I stepped on my shape of scale and got that 10 day average and went, you got to do something and you have the tools right here. So let's do it. Oh, that's so awesome. I'm just, <laughs> this is so great to hear like, from an actual user what it's meant to you. And, and I know how much it's meant to me, but it's like getting to connect on these things. I'm like, yay, go Amanda. <laughs> I think that I would really lean towards uh, the, the community that you get with Shapa. Like it is not just a scale that sits in your house and you use once a day or however often you can get yourself on it. Um, There's a whole community. And I have had questions. I've had to reach out to tech support. I have had like so much that I didn't really understand. And joining the Facebook community, that's where I am, am mostly is the Facebook community. That support from the community and support from Shapa in that page is just phenomenal. Like I, I post a question and it's answered within the same day and by Shapa. Um, I just think that that makes this tool a tenfold difference compared to any other tools that you can use. You have so much support from it. And I would recommend it to literally all of my friends. I already have recommended it to a few <laughs> and they have purchased. <laughs> That's awesome. That's so cool to hear. And that is definitely a big deal. A big deal to us too. So thank you. Um, Well, you've just, you nailed this. I just have one, I mean, one last question and this is optional. If there's just anything else you'd like to say about your experience or just, um, yeah, any last final comments about it? I just think that, I'm pausing because I didn't have a thought. Um, I just think the last thing that I would say about Shapa is if you really hate the scale, Shapa is worth giving it a shot. Cause I would have told you in May, there is no way I would have a scale in my house. And now we're in October and it is a huge part of my daily routine and I love it instead of hating it. So I just think you should give it a shot for sure. <laughs> That's, uh, you're incredible. Thank you so much for sharing that. Thank you. So many can, can relate to you. I mean, I'm in part of the community too. And we do have such an yeah. awesome group there and you're so good at encouraging them and, and just getting to hear your story and your experience um, makes the community what it is. So thank you. Thanks. This is a fun experience. Cool. <laughs> I'm glad because I always know like that's why I was so happy. I reached out again. I was like, well, can I interview you? Cause if it was me, I know I'd want to see a face and like do this in person and just make it a little more human. So I'm glad we got the opportunity Definitely. to connect. And it's always yeah. fun meeting the actual users in person. Well, not in person, but kind of. Well, right? <laughs> yes. And what you look like in your voice, which is awesome. <laughs> 
Um, but it's great. Okay. That's all I have for you. But if you, um, oh, okay. <laughs> I'm right here. I promise. Okay. So our whole team has just been so excited for your success, but also just knowing what we're doing is working and it's good. It's Thank just, you. It's I think it's also important and I should have mentioned it, but I also think it's important to know that like my journey is nowhere near done. I got a lot more to go and it's going to happen. Thanks to Shapa. So so cool and I love how motivated you are and the way you're approaching it um is so it's so great thank you I appreciate you doing the interview style that was a lot easier for me cool no me too I mean like I said I selfishly love to actually talk in person so it's cool to see and I I so appreciate like when people get in a funk when as far as getting in green for too long or seeing gray it's this hearing from us is cool but it's like they don't really they really want to hear from someone who's been through it and so that's why I love that too I'm like thank you so much because they'll take yeah. it more seriously than you know maybe us and I mean I definitely beat myself up about it sometimes because you know we we're we're on a journey right we're, we have goals but at the same time I always have to like go back and realize you've done a lot in a really short amount of time. Like right now I'm at four days without losing a pound and I'm like, Ugh, but then my belt went one more notch tighter again. So I'm like, we're, we're making changes. It's okay. You're doing amazing. Like I'm, I'm starting to continue to watch your journey. Cause so far I'm like, it's the most exciting thing to open up and see. I'm like, yes, that's so cool. <laughs> Thank you. I'm so glad that just posting about it, you know, you guys were in, I, I never in a million years expected that I would post about it and then be contacted and asked if I wanted to do this. And I, yeah, I just didn't expect that. <laughs> so it's a cool, cool part of the journey. <laughs> so cool. Yeah, I, I agree. Well, thank you for your time. Um, thank you. Cool. Thank you very much. You have a great rest of your day. Bye, Amanda. Bye.